What's going on Route 66 travelers? Hey, stepping off of the highway this week and we're gonna take a rest stop in the final letter from John. Here we go with Third John. Hey, come on in. John wants us to be hospitable. That's right. He wrote this letter to urge Christians to be hospital, especially toward Christian workers and those of the faith. See, hospitality first is living in the truth. John says that he has no greater joy than this than to find out that his children were walking in truth, those that he had been raising up and those that he had been teaching in the churches that he'd planted. See, this falls into the realm of virtue. Hospitality is like a, a soft biblical virtue and biblical virtues are values that we live and if we're living that then we're living in the truth so it would make sense that this virtue of hospitality is about living your life in truth now it's also being faithful hospitality is going to be faithfulness john says you're showing faithfulness by whatever you do for the brothers even if they're a stranger to you now, hospitality is, is is being that way even when you don't know who that person might be. Hospitality is faithfulness in the truth. And that truth then, well, there has to be some sort of understanding behind that. Okay, let's put it this way. Everyone who believes in the name of Jesus Christ, anyone who's accepted that relationship on a personal level with him, they are your brother and sister in the family of God. So you'll be faithful to them even when they're a stranger. Now, John equates this also with love. And I mean, God is love. We're supposed to be love. They came to you in his name. They came to you in his love, even if they were a stranger. So the best thing we can do is we can support them. In doing so, we're loving them. And then we're supporting that truth that we're supposed to be living in. Next, hospitality is always saying welcome. Hospitality says welcome. Now, John has to flip the script here, and he has to use an example of, of inhospitable or unhospitable in the form of a guy named Diotrephes. Now this guy, he just wanted to get in the way. He had to be the first one in line. Everything had to go through him in order for it to mm, reach the next level with the other people in the church. Here's the thing, he was unwelcoming, but he wasn't just unwelcoming. He stopped the people who wanted to welcome people in, and when they fought him, he kicked them out of the church. So he's not just kicking out the people that they want to welcome, but he's kicking those brothers and sisters who are already a part of the church out along with them. That's the opposite of what John says hospitality is. He says it should be a welcome environment. And hospitality is godliness. This is kind of that duh moment when you come to the idea of this virtue. Because obviously... If we're going to be hospitable, it's going to be from the nature of Christ working itself from within us. It's an opportunity to show love and care for the people who need it. See, this is where we get our focus mixed up. It's not about entertaining. It's about hospitality. Entertaining is about impressing other people. Hospitality is about serving them. It's an obedience to godliness in our lives and our relationship with Christ. It's not about the perfect appearance. And because of that, hospitality is then friendship. It's not wasting time worrying about the perfect home or the perfect appearance. It's about where our heart actually is at. It's an obedience then to the idea of friendship when we see it as friendship rather than a performance. Jesus himself is the greatest example of this. He was hospitable to us, right? I mean, he says, welcome, come as you, what? Are, come as you are. He is the truth. He's faithful to us even when we aren't faithful to him in return. And he is the example that we follow. We're to be holy as he is holy. And he offers us that ultimate friendship in the inner circle. He says, hey, won't you just come on in? Hey, keep studying in your groups, individually, with your family and your friends. Keep memorizing those scriptures as a nice way to protect yourself. And we'll see you this next week when we step back on the highway. Woo, we're getting close to the end. We're going to look at a really interesting book that not a lot of people look at on a regular basis. Join us this coming Sunday as we jump into the book of Jude. And until then, happy studying.